Hey guys, I'm Frank. Hi, I'm Leo. And welcome to a brand new episode of Terror Recollect. So we thought it would be fun to share our outlook on our favorite horror movies with you guys, the horror fans, because we're horror fans, and to recollect some of our favorite moments of terror from some of our favorite horror movies, franchises, and pretty much all things horror, right? Yeah, I mean, we want to discuss our favorite killers, our favorite subgenres, um, our favorite scenes and scores. Oh, and uh, covering uh, horror conventions, movie locations, special screenings, things like that. Pr pretty much the stuff that we love. And... Even the things we don't love, like the movie Halloween Resurrection. Or the Leprechaun Origins. Or the new Pet Cemetery. But you know what? Why don't we save that for our Discussing Remakes episode? Yeah. Uh, for this episode, since this is kind of our first episode, why don't we discuss what got us into horror in the first place so everybody knows like where, where we're coming from. Uh, my uncle, uh, he took me to movies when I was a kid. He took me to theaters, uh, rented them on VHS, uh, mm -hmm. Recorded them off TV, and then uh, the earliest ones I can remember seeing are Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Fred. Oh, yeah. Them. Those are my favorites. Those are the best ones to have watched as a kid because you're introduced to the, um, what would you call that, the mythology of those mm -hmm. characters, especially if you're going into it in the sequels. It's like, oh, this is part three, this is part four. Mm -hmm. well, what happened in part one or part two? And then is there another one? And that that's part of that excitement. Uh, which is another reason why I really, really love sequels, just because that's that continuation there. The earliest one I can remember seeing in the theater, um, and it might not have been the first one, but the one I can remember is Jason Goes to Hell. Oh, yeah, about, <laughs> Jason Goes to Hell. I was about six or seven when I saw it in the theater. That's, that's the movie. worst movie. Yeah. yeah, as far as, you know, I guess it gets it a lot of hate. Issues. Yeah, it gets a lot of hate, yeah. but, you know, the nostalgia reasons, you know, the first time I saw my favorite, one of my favorite slashers up on the big screen. Oh, yeah. I didn't care that he was only in it. 15% of the time. I have to look at it through nostalgia goggles and just kind of remember how excited I was to first see Jason on the big screen, even though, uh, like I said, his intro was awesome. Uh, stalking the girl, uh, but then getting blown up by the FBI SWAT team and then the bringing him back at the end was amazing. Spoiler alert, he was brought back at the end. <laughs> and he fought this real skinny guy with glasses, no offense. Uh, and it was not a uh, uh, the, the best opponent, I think, for Jason, but it was still absolutely awesome to see it in that way. Yeah. So what about you? What got you? What, what was your start? My start is still very Jason related. My start was going to a sleepover back in seventh grade. My parents never let me watch horror movies. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. Um, I had very strict parents. Actually, I wasn't even allowed to watch movies, period. Uh, I watched a lot of television growing up. But when I had the opportunity to go to a sleepover and they asked me to, where do you want to go? We went to the video store, you know, the Haven in the 80s. And that, well, actually, I think that was 1990 when I went. And we had the opportunity to rent whatever we wanted. And I saw the cover of Jason Takes Manhattan on the new release at the time. And it was just the most intriguing cover I had ever seen. Mm -hmm. It's got the red and blue mm -hmm. lighting. It's got Jason's gloves and uh, what's, what kind and of knife is that? Buck knife. Yeah. The buck knife. Which was never used in the movie. Which was never used in the movie. And what was the other... New Blood. The New Blood, Final part Chapter. seven, and technically part four. All have buck knives in the movie poster, and Jason has never once killed with a buck knife. I've never seen him kill I'm a pretty a big knife. Jason fan, and I don't remember ever seeing yeah. him kill with a buck knife. So, But the cover was interesting, and we got a chance to take it home. And everything from the Shadow Zone trailer, yeah. which was, I'm sure the movie's not as great as the trailer makes it feel, but. Louise Fletcher, James Hong, Sean Weatherly, Shadow Zone. We actually started the movie. We started watching it because we were so excited. We were like, this is the movie we saw yeah. all the time at the beginning yeah. of Manhattan. Yep. And we started it, we were like, oh, this probably is not going to yeah. live up to what we wanted to Let's be. watch something else. Yeah. <laughs> I think we put on Critters, Ghoulies, I don't know, something else. Which even was probably worse than yeah. what Shadow Zone would be. Yeah. <laughs> Here are some exciting coming attractions from Paramount. 
coming soon from Paramount. Yeah. It was just like, I hear it now when I watch a, a, a tape, because I still have a VCR and I still have a tape collection. When I watch those, I get so, I get the exact same thrill. I think it was Hunt for Red October yeah. was the first yeah. trailer. Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, James Earl Jones, Scott Glenn, Sam Neill, The Hunt for Red October. Then it was Shadow Zone, and then it was now our feature presentation. And then you were just sucked into this world of, of Friday the 13th and Jason. And I've, I've been hooked ever since. That was 1990-ish. Uh, we're now 2019, and I'm still going strong. Jason is still my favorite. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. And part of the love of horror movies is kind of that first introduction, getting to see those covers at the video store, getting to see the posters, if you were lucky, hanging in the video store advertising the horror movies, or even just having that opportunity of just scanning boxes and going, whatever this crazy cover is, is exactly what I want to see. Exactly. Yeah. So like, what, what were some of your favorite artworks? And uh, disclaimer, folks, uh, we tend to veer <laughs> randomly off topic. but This we, is true. But we will get back on topic. Just yeah, bear with we'll us. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. We'll maybe. see. Yeah. So what were some of your favorite uh, cover arts? Uh, the first thing that pops into my mind is Friday the Thirteenth: A New Beginning. Oh and yeah. The reason I say that is because it was just so plain. Yeah. So it was just so it's just so plain, and it doesn't look like Jason really. This is a laser disc, by the way. Yeah. It's but beautiful. it does have the VHS cover art. But because of that memory, because it stuck out, it is one of my favorite covers. I don't know why. It's just so plain. And, and it's funny, too, because this never actually comes out in the movie. Right. I remember sitting around waiting for this image to pop up. <laughs> Where was the scene with the red eyes and the square peg mask? <laughs> it didn't come out. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Friday the 13th Part 5, you should go see it, first of all. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this mask does not come out of the movie, by the way. Yes. Yeah. And but that's the, one of the first ones. And uh, even um, as far as artwork goes, Friday the 13th, me, and um, had the most visually pleasing artwork. Oh, yeah. Know. A lot of them did. Yeah. Um, that was some yeah. of the most fun was lining them up and seeing the transition yeah. from one to two to three, mm -hmm. you know, and seeing uh, just how they changed, how they, they used the hockey mask mm -hmm. different ways. Um the Halloween ones were always really good. Uh, you know, the classic, uh, it's like a turned mm -hmm. kitchen knife in the same shape like as the, the, the pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Kind of it's warped goes into, kind of goes into like the movie. <laughs> but actually speaking of Halloween, because we can go on and we will go on in future episodes about the details of between, you know, different Halloween posters and our thoughts on them. Halloween was actually how we met about five or six years ago at the Halloween 35th anniversary convention in Pasadena. We were both volunteers there, and actually we just worked the 40th anniversary convention Shout as out. volunteers. Shout out to Trevor Collins. Trevor, what was your experience like doing the uh, convention? I had a freaking blast. Yeah. Even even during my um, my shift, you know what I mean? Because we worked like a few hours. One of the funniest uh, parts, or one of the coolest parts, is my, my job at that convention as a volunteer was... Um, working the staircase where the celebrities would come in and they would go down the staircase while the people that were just attending, you know, like the fans would have to go over here. So I would have to, I was like bouncer. I would have to <laughs> remove the rope and just, right. you know, welcome them and, right. you know, kind of, you know, direct them down. I had an embarrassing moment with uh, Bo Starr who played uh, Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff Meeker. Meeker in four and five. Uh, awesome dude and Those awesome character. Know. Yeah. Awesome dude. Awesome character. And he came through, but it's been so long that I didn't recognize him right off the bat. Right. And I had to actually stop him and be like, oh, sorry, the fans go over here. <laughs> and he actually, oh, no, man, I'm both star. You know, I'm like, oh. I'm Sheriff Meeker, damn it. Oh. What's wrong with you? One of my favorite characters in the franchise. Yeah. It was, and, uh, uh, what are your it was favorite, tough at the time. What are your favorite memories of that? I remember sitting and covering the table for a couple of different actors when they were on lunch. And just being able to sit where they were sitting, look at look at everything from their point of view, the table facing out towards the fans. I, I was in control of some of the lines. Um, but honestly, and, you know, it's actually been one of the coolest things to actually be friends with Frank since the convention because 
to find like-minded people, people who share your love for horror movies, whether you're into you know, science fiction movies, horror movies, comedies, if you find someone that shares your same mentality, there's nothing like it because mm -hmm. we end up spending hours watching movies and then discussing movies for even more and more hours usually while eating some type of pizza or something yeah. and you know drinking a coke and just just having a wonderful time so that's actually one of my favorite things was i got a chance to meet this guy and his lovely family who he now has and it was such an awesome way of like you know having that love for halloween continue on so every time we meet up you know his house is covered with halloween posters which you guys will see in future episodes and uh but I love Halloween. I love Michael Myers. And just being able to be a part of that convention was awesome. Plus, you know, how can you not enjoy yourself at a Halloween convention, whether you're working it or going as a fan? And that was actually some of my favorite stuff. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Overall, the convention, we had a great time. It was a good time. And speaking of time, that's actually all the time that we have for today's episode. Uh, but please let us know in the comment section below what you guys thought of today's episode. And maybe if you guys want longer or shorter episodes in the future, or maybe even like topics that you guys want us to discuss. Yeah, guys, we got plenty of topics that we're going to be discussing in the uh, upcoming episodes, but we're a horror family. Mm -hmm. We want your guys' involvement. Absolutely. And we have lots to share with you as well. Um, like our recent trip to the 2019 Monster Palooza convention in Pasadena. Um, or our most recent viewing of the 30th anniversary of A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream Child. Yes. At uh, the Chinese Theater. Part in, 5. In Hollywood, California. It was a great time. Those members of the cast, there was a lot of fun. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.